everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line and Civic to play GeoGuessr. We, you know who we are at this point in time. Let's just start the run, Simvicta. All right. I was what? gonna say they they probably know you more than me, but yeah. Well, if they're watching episode thirty-five at this point. <laughs> good luck. Half oh, technically this is thirty-six, but good luck. Sure. Yeah. Have fun. You too. You as well. I hope that. May may today be filled with great GeoGuessr guesses for you heading into the weekend and not anything that's Canadian. I will only be happy if we get a 25,000 to 25,000 tie. Okay. Well, prepare to be unhappy because yes. probably the the statistical like logistics of that happening are probably pretty much zero. I would agree with your assessment of things. Why okay. I, I have to sit here and look at this for a second. Is it me or does, is this lighthouse a little bit too far away from the ocean to, to matter? You have a problem? Are, are you seeing this lighthouse? Like, do you see it? Yes. It seems like, well, I, I guess it is kind of close to the coast. Okay. You know what, mister? <laughs> Don't you insult my province like this. Not my, oh, this is, this not is, my province. This is Vancouver? My, my country, I think. No. You don't think so? No, not... No way. How so? Uh, I just... I feel like it's not. You think this is France? No. I didn't say that. What does it say? St... St... And... De Mont. Yes. No. No, because what, what, that... What's your problem? <laughs> Look... The thing is, I'm tired. I, I, I got to break this three-game losing streak. I yeah. really do. No, I agree with that. Really think this is Canada? No no comment? Do you, uh... have, do you have any more newfound thoughts on the subject? No, no. Of course we're going to start in Canada. Now that I've seen that, plus this. Well, if it makes you know you feel any better. I have no idea where this is. I mean, I know what province it is. Well, yeah. I mean, it's clearly Vancouver. That's insulting. You're now, you zoom in on this province, and it just looks like in, like, a high school science class, they show you, like, a microscope image of somebody's blood <laughs> vessel or something. Or, like, this, this is what it looks like if you have, like, high cholesterol in your, in your 40s. And you're like, oh. Every time I look at this province, I, like, I just feel like I'm just looking at, like, ice. Yeah, okay. Is that, is that is that all they have there is ice? What are you talking about? Is that all they have where there? Do, is what, where do you think we are? Uh Canada. Mister. Yeah, okay. Sure. I mean where where else would we be? Yeah, no, I sure. I don't know. Here th is this, this is Hudson's. This is Bay? what I'm I don't know. Is this the banks of the fucking St. Lawrence? I got no idea. The problem with this particular province that I'm looking Whoa. at is that there's like a little island. Yeah. But I'm not uh, right now. I'm trying to focus on like th this. This is what I'm looking for. I'm trying right, to look yeah. for the actual like highway that we're on. And okay. I'm not seeing it. That seems like a noble goal. And I don't want to zoom in. Like I found the. Oh, I found it. You found it. I did the highway. I even found, like, yeah. I was looking at... Okay, well, I'm not going to say anything until after it, so... I'm now going I'm soft in my of, own age here. In my own fun. age. You're my own age. <laughs> okay, well, that is... Just, just, somewhere. Right. I, can, I can live with that. I can live with it. That's not That's that right bad. There. Right oh, there. crap. I didn't even realize that we had... Uh, I got you by 700. Not bad. You know, more power to you. Well done. I, I didn't even realize how, how little time was left. So I was looking at 138. Yeah. And I was skimming over, like, the bottom of, like, New Brunswick because I was, like, just following the coast. And I, then I saw the 132. And then I saw I found the city of Matane. Of course, yes. But I put it I put my marker on there without actually, like, yeah, I didn't have time to look at that. So I think it's five stars. You know what, Canada? Five Thank stars. You. Five stars. I gave it a four because it's not in a major city. Wow. Canada, there it is. I'm, I'm not lying. against. I'm just saying it's not a major city. On the weekend, just 
just dropping the dropping the four star. I appreciate you, Canada. You know, I mean, I I do as well. I would just I would give it a five star if it was like you know we were in downtown Montreal. Yeah, but then like, how could I get any points? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> It's not the answer that I that I wanted to hear. Uh, this this is gunning for a two star right now. I'll just tell oh you that straight God. out. This is a prototypical two star. This is a prototypical one of these guesses. I'm pretty sure that I've like we it, like a couple episodes ago. Did we not just see this city? Come on, that's offensive. I no, I remember. I remember looking for the for the OC. <laughs> well, you can find it on uh, Netflix, I think. Yeah. It's where, uh, it's where uh, Paul and Little Paul make the motorcycles. What? Uh, <laughs> That's where Paul oh. and Little Paul. Paul and Paul Sr. Oh, Orange, Orange County Choppers. That's where you went. When you said you were looking for the OC, you thought Orange County Choppers. Not, yeah, the, but then you... not the massively popular television show called literally The OC. No, because I never watched that. It sound it doesn't sound right when you say Paul and Little Paul. It sounds like he and his <laughs> penis are building motorcycles. Well, I mean they kind of are. Paul Jr. I would accept. It's Paul. It's it's the Tuttles. I didn't know the last name. You should watch the OC, Sinvicta. No. Yeah, it wasn't really my jam either. Okay. Well, with two minutes left. Oh fuck. Do you have any idea? No. <laughs> Straight up, you know? On that, here, here's how I get hope on rushing guesses. If okay. there is a sign that says a city is like 500 kilometers away, then I go, okay, that must be a big city. I can put myself within 500 kilometers of it if I can just find it on the map. If I don't find a big city, we're out. We're done. I swear that this feels like a town that we've seen very recently. I would be amazed, not if it was the same town we've seen earlier, but if we remembered. I mean, it's kind of like the Isaac Seeds thing, like where he's like, "Oh, I could have swore I just had." Yeah, this you're like, the "This day. this seems familiar." At least the relational memory is a little hazy there, but is that it i just the only reason why i remember is like it, it was associated with that because i could recognize four of those characters hmm. but here i am looking for it just you know what sure i'm gonna put right there just in case i run out of time give me a city name it starts with a g georgia that doesn't even make any fucking sense <laughs> in this situation <laughs> It's not Glinka, I'll tell you that much. If you're putting yourself at Glinka, you're in for a bruising, mister. I'm not putting myself in Glinka. All right, I'm 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 sticking with Log right there. Right there, right there. You know what? Holy fuck. I'll take it. I had us right there. I, I placed it right there, and then I moved it. Wait, no. That's my guess. Oh, I did really well. And the, the town... About? First off, I want to point out, the town was called fucking Gubkin. I'm st I'm beginning to believe in Russia. How'd you find Gub? What what'd you get on that guess? I got forty nine forty seven. What? How? How did you get forty nine? I'm gonna be honest with you. Luck on that. <laughs> Pretty much exclusively luck. Well, that immediately dropped my rating from a two back down to a one. <laughs> well, you're not gonna be too happy about this next one then. Oh my god. Basically, I, I'm starting to I'm starting to translate, man. Don't don't even you you just say it yourself. It's luck. Have you ever seen the movie The Thirteenth Warrior, starring starring uh, Antonio Banderas? Have you ever seen the movie The Thirteenth Warrior, starring I'm, I'm, Antonio I'm, I'm, Banderas? I'm done, done talking to you. Today, In that movie, okay. he is taken as a prisoner of war by Vikings, and through spending so much time with them, he actually ambiently learns to speak their language. Yeah, that I is... think I saw that in the original movie called Avatar by James Cameron. Look, The 13th Warrior came out in like 1998, buddy. <laughs> now, I am now Antonio Banderas, and I am learning how to speak Russian That's... by virtue of being in Russia. I am going to be the Russian Antonio Banderas. Done, done with this conversation. I know the state 
And I know, kind of know the area. All right, that we're in. Well, if you know that, I'm just gonna free ball here, cause like I'm looking at this. I'll tell you one thing. Normally, you go, we're in the south. We ain't in the south, son. These are dead ass trees. These are pretty dead trees. You know, bad camera does not always equal the American South. Don't forget about the entirety of the Midwest, which as of yet has remained untouched by cameras invented since, like, the fucking um, 1990s. I mar Mark this down just so you remember. Uh, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. You need to look at my point of view on this. What are you seeing? Uh, I, I don't quite know what I'm looking at right now, to be quite honest. Is, is it the Mothman? Uh, I... I mean, I kind of feel like a moth. Is it <laughs> Antonio Bandara? What is going on? This is like... I, I may have been sucked into limbo. Yeah? Yeah. Well? I, I, I had four or five different cameras all <laughs> converging on one frame, and it was very scary. How do you free yourself from this version of limbo? Uh, you go purchase the Steam game called Limbo. You ever and you play, play Limbo? It. No, I haven't actually. I liked it. I heard a lot of people like it. It it set off that whole I'm a tiny child in a dark, unforgiving realm. Yeah, but it's actually like them just looking for like a tennis ball in the forest or something. Excuse me. <laughs> Boys looking for his sister. Well, spoiler, sister, now I definitely don't have to, like, play it. His sister is not a fucking tennis ball, Sam Victor. What do you think this is? Frowns Kafka's Metamorphosis? I, I, I like Blue Stolly's Metamorphosis better, actually. What is Blue uh, Stolly? Oh, my God. Uh, that, it's probably, like, some kind of metal band, right? Uh, he's not metal. He's pretty cool. Actually, I've, I've actually spoken to uh, Blue Stolly before. He's really his cool name guy. is Blue? Yes. Like, the color. Yes, because that's his real name and not like, you know, a name that he reserved for the name of his musical group. It's like Blue Cantrell. Yeah, you've heard of Blue Stolly. No, you know, it's like Blue Cantrell. Are they related? <laughs> I thought you were going to say Blue Kang. <laughs> do, you know, do you know Blue Cantrell? She's saying uh, Hit Him Up Style. No, I haven't. Is it, is I haven't heard that. I, no. I've heard of Blue's Clues. As they're not related either. <laughs> But in Blue Cantrell's Hit Him Up style, she says, you know, she's been cheated on by her man. And then she says, uh, I'll get his credit and his cash and spend it to the last time for all the hard times. You know, is that the kind of message that Blue, oh, that I've actually, Blue I know Stanley uh, purports to, to sell? Uh, Blue Stolly? Okay. Yeah, Blue Stanley. If you just listen to uh, Metamorphosis and uh, an ultra numb. Oh, fucking god damn it. You got me by 2600 on this one. Yeah! So, I saw a truck at the very beginning that said, I think Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. And, but I knew it didn't, I know it didn't exactly say Tulsa because it was similar. It, was like, it looked like Odessa or something, but. I'm gonna be real yeah, with I you. I just went with it. I didn't know Oklahoma got cold enough to uh, have its trees die. Come on. No, I'm serious. It gets colder and it, it gets colder in Houston than that. <laughs> Your trees die in uh, yes. In it gets Houston? it gets very cold down here, and I'm not just saying that to try to flex. I'm saying that like it it gets down to like the teens here. Okay. Like and that's and people get surprised. By the way, are you seeing this oversized load? That's just like, that's just not a normal truck, escorting yeah. anything. That, that's just a truck. I mean, this dude is just not. Oh, cool! Look, you can actually see the reflection of the Google truck. It says Google Google Maps Street View. I made a terrible it's got, mistake on this one. It's got a picture of like the little dude that you drop, like the yeah. little pin. That's neat. Honestly, is it though? I think it's pretty neat. I've never seen the Google truck. Okay, well, I, th I think I know. I think I know something about this one. Okay. I've never seen a, a, a lane do that. I've never seen a highway lane do that. They give you a passing lane for like a second. And then they're like, you know what? Now it's gone. What does that say? Does that say Cle Cleveland? <laughs> no. This truck has... I don't, I don't know. Uh, it says C. It's either a C or a G. It's a cursive 
symbol. Yeah, we're in California. Yeah. Okay, or I could just like look at this sign here. Now entering wildlife management. Yes, I saw that as well. And it has it has an anti poaching symbol that's in the shape of a reindeer. Very shape, clever. Shape of a reindeer. That's what it looked like. Ooh. Ooh, that's that's something, dude. That's something right there. That's, that's let me tell something. you, bud. Oh, this is a bevy of information you would not have anticipated on first blush. Really? Sort of. I don't so know. I'm seeing, I'm seeing this. I'm thinking that means this. I hope. Like over here, dude. I, I actually have no idea. Well, I know the country. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it's... I grew up here. What? Well, I have a summer home and. No, oh, all right. You've gone. You've gone from parody to now. I'm not believing you anymore. <laughs> Yeah, there's a huge property bubble in Canada right now, so you would uh, you'd be very silly to buy right now. Is my is my uh, unprofessional advice? Is this a, is this an actual like body of water? Or is this just like one of those cute Canadian names that's like, oh wait, look, I got a we got a lake over here. And, well, uh, honestly, good luck finding it either way because you know we have ten thousand lakes. I can show you where Lake Ontario is. Is that what it says, Lake Ontario? No. Well, then you're plumb out of luck as far as I'm concerned, buddy. I'm just scanning the globe right now. Have you considered... It's not over there. Checking the wire. What's the wire say? There's like so many freaking lakes. Yeah. There's too many lakes in Canada. Why, is he, why do you have to have so many freaking lakes? I I'm was gonna put it... on the right road. I put it in the. Oh well, you. All right, well you got me by like fourteen hundred. This is the first time I, I've I ever went... seen this happen in GeoGuessr. I went for like, I I, I was originally looking in Saskatchewan because yeah. or Nova Scotia because I saw I saw NSC or something like that on a sure. truck. Yeah. And then I was like, "There's this says lake, and there's no lakes around Nova Scotia that I know of." So I was like, I'm just gonna go in the middle of Canada and just just place it down between some lakes. And then this guy over here, oh, I don't know where we are. Uh, oh, late, never mind. Just kidding. Got a summer home on uh, Highway 63. Well, no, no, I I had already placed the thing on Highway 63, and then I saw a sign that was like construction on Highway 63, and I was like. <gasps> This is the smallest lake that's ever been considered a lake. I don't know about this one, Canada. Dude, I don't know. You might want to get on Come the next on. one ASAP so that you can uh, take all right, in all bad. the information around us. Well, we uh, we can't actually move, Correct. so. yes. But there is a... Um, Automaton Casino. You can see the Automaton Casino, I've noticed. Um, there's a fountain. There's a fountain. There's a kid wearing a super bright orange jumper. Yep. That's true. And there's roses. It's like a, it's too many kids to adults there. Something's wrong with the ratios. I'm fairly sure it's like a it's a chaperone thing. It's gotta be right. Like that's there's like five kids well, you, and two adults. I mean, it, it, we are just like you know outside of a school. I'm just saying. is that a school? They did put a school right next to the casino. What, what kind of what kind of school that you know of, or what kind of building besides a school has a freaking clock right out in the dead I don't center know, like, of the that could front be city of the hall, dude? Come. I mean, that map seems like, you know, it'd be mighty handy if we could get closer to it. Well, I have a feeling this is one of the countries that we're probably not going to get to see too much of. I don't know, dude. Automatic, automaton casino? What does that even mean? Uh, actually, streamer, it's a automaton. <laughs> oh, automaton casino. I kind of, I think we're in Germany. I'm just going to come out and say it. Oh, Why? yeah, that's, okay. that's what I'm... <laughs> I think we're in Germany because, first off, that kid's haircut is an extremely German haircut. It's no nonsense. What? What? <laughs> it's no nonsense. Come on. But yet still trendy. It's efficient. It's a paragon of hair culture for the world over. See, if I if I were to say something like that, I would get completely, like, 
bombarded by, oh, Sin Victor, he's so racist and Wait. nationalist, and he hates everything. <laughs> that doesn't mean I hate him. I'm just, I'm just making a joke, basically. This other kid's head has been, like, photoshopped into the picture. Is <laughs> the kid in the red shorts? Yeah. Like, that's I'm another kid's it. head photoshopped on him, which is super German. They love that. <laughs> That was that no that that was the kid who like he wanted to be there but couldn't. So he was like, "Hey, <laughs> could you just like take a random person and like and just photoshop my head on there?" But then this other, like this is Slovenian philosopher Slavoj Zizek sitting here. Who are you looking at? You know, the guy in the checkered shirt. Oh, like, yeah, the guy in the plaid shirt. Yeah, and he's like, you know, the hegemony of mankind must be ended within my lifespan. I'm like, "Come on, dude, you're bringing me down." I mean, I'm gonna be straight with you. I have no idea where we are. Oh yeah, me neither. In Germany, I don't even know if we're in Germany. I mean, I feel like we should be, based on the haircut, mostly. There's a the problem that I have with this is that we can't freaking move. Yeah, it's it's hard to get, you know, extra info off of that. But if I'm going off of this, that. Doesn't really look like this. This looks more like up here. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? I don't know, dude. I'm in. <laughs> Did you guess? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go like up here. Uh, I beat you by only. 142. Total or on Germany only? No, I beat you by a total, 142. You got it. It was actually it was actually Germany. I went I actually went Denmark just because like it just didn't look like I was looking on the map and I was like, that looks more whoop, I accidentally clicked on the map again. For me, that didn't look much like Germany. Plus on top of that, what I know about Germany is that you're not a theory of Germany for GeoGuessr. Right. Yeah. So I was looking on the I was looking on the outskirts, and from what everyone's told me, it's usually in the south. But right, which is yeah, where that, I, I put myself. That, that gets a big old fat one. So well, I give it a three. Total, we couldn't move. There's How a lot of flavor move? there, man. Uh, well, final total: Northern Lion nineteen thousand four hundred and forty-nine. Sinvicta twenty thousand seventy-one. Well, well done. No, no need to brag about it. Thank you. Thank you to the Canadian guess. Guesses again, by the way. Yeah, but well, was, let's, let's just the ignore Oklahoma. the fact that, uh, <laughs> you know, there was an American one on that one as well. <laughs> no, it's, okay, you see, it says the guy who got two Canadian guesses on possibly one of the worst rounds. Somebody of tally ever, it up. Back back. Tally up how many American guesses we've had versus Canadian guesses, and then you get to talk, Mr. I'm almost going to guarantee you it's been either very close or can, or Canada has led it by one or two. That is ridiculous. Typical American mindset. If if it's not America all the time, oh, oh come on. Oh, I can't deal with it. I've come been on. outside of America for one guess. You won. You won three in a row. You you've had you've had nothing but distinguished class, and then all of a sudden you lose one by like. A hundred and you know, that's because points. you took the first off, Mister. <laughs> that's six hundred and twenty one points. Six hundred and twenty two points, sorry. Undermining my original point. <laughs> Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did click the like button, I think we're evened up again. And uh check out both of our perspectives. Watch them simultaneously if you want, you know, one after another. I don't know. Watch his 36 and my 35 simultaneously. That'll be really I mean, weird. We'll probably be talking each over they're talking over each other a lot, but uh We are tied eighteen to eighteen. If that this, is crazy. This, man. Well for that's, now. That's actually incredible. It is actually. Incredible. We'll see you next time. See you later.